Hey everyone, Mtash here, and today I wanted to talk about the benefits of rolling a new character and grinding out for generic protocol mods, generic system mods, as well as some beautiful skill mods. Now, this is going to be a bit of an effort and a bit of a grind, but I highly recommend you do this because this can boost your damage like 30 to 40% depending on the slots you have. You can see right here, this is 4% LMG damage that I'm gaining from this green mod. So there's two ways you can look at this. You can play this at level, you know, 13, 14, 15. You go in the dark zone, you grind it out, you get a bunch of these mods for your skills and your gear, and uh, they'll be blue and green. Now, even the green mods can have, you know, 4% weapon damage and things like that, but optimally you probably want blue ones because they seem to roll a little bit higher. Uh, there seems to be more drops when you're kind of level 16, 17, 18 kind of thing. Um, and you can also start getting some purple ones that can end up being pretty strong as well. Now you need a mixture of system and protocol mods because they slot into different things and so realistically just the more mods you get the better uh, even if it's missing a percentage here or there it's still going to be better than a lot of the high-end mods that are in the game. Most high-end mods are terrible. They're junk. They're 1%, 2% gains uh, for like, you know, like crit damage. Well you can get 5 or 6 weapon damage on a lot of these mods and you can stack multiple five six seven eight of them on your gear and end up getting like 30 or 40 percent extra damage for your weapon this is one of the biggest boosts to damage that you can get and so putting in the effort to get a bunch of these mods whether they're greens or blues doesn't really matter as long as you put in the time I highly recommend you do this. I've been grinding on a level eight, uh, sorry, 18 character in the dark zone for a few hours, and I got multiple, multiple drops. Now, if you look here, some of them aren't amazing, but there are some weapon boosts. There's one for assault rifles that's got a healthy little chunk on it, uh, as well as some armor stuff. Now this is one or two hours of farming. If I'm able to really commit to this and grind out, I'm sure I can get a ton of great mods. I want to put in the effort. I want to get the best build possible, and so I'm going to need to get way, way, way more of these, especially if I want to focus on one weapon type. But this is a great start to the grind. What's nice about this is a lot of the mod slots are pretty bad. Like, we're, we're talking like, oh wow, 2,000 armor, 1,900 armor, that's not that good. That's actually pretty terrible um, because it's, it just doesn't help your build up that much. And so, it, as long as it's a protocol mod or a system mod, right, this is an offensive system mod, I can fit a generic system mod in here. So I've got a generic system mod down here for assault rifle damage, right? Um, but if it's a protocol, you can't slot this one in here. So you need to farm both. You're, you're going to need to have uh, system mods and protocol mods. There, It's just random which one it is. You can see this one's a defensive protocol. And if you go back down, I can't fit that assault rifle damage one in there. But if I slide to um, you know something else here that has a utility system mod, I can. Even though this one is meant for skill power, I can still get that assault rifle damage because the generic mods will still slot in. So farm a bunch of these, get a bunch of extra damage, and in some cases you can get, you know, 10% extra damage per armor piece. The holster typically, the knee pads, the, the chest piece, the backpack, you can usually easily get two mod slots on these, and you're going to be laughing with all the extra damage that you're getting. Uh, as with the skills, um, if you make a new character, you can both craft skills. You know, you can see here I'm crafting a chem launcher over and over and over again, and it's allowing me to get some pretty terrible ones, but every once in a while you'll get that, that golden goose. You'll get that higher tier one with things like uh, maximum charges or whatever it might be. Um, but this could be a great way to get some usable skills for your character without needing a ton of skill power. So make a new character, grind up to, you know, that level 18 or so range, and then get into the dark zone farming. It's going to be a huge boost to your character, uh, your main character, and it really doesn't take that much time. Maybe six or seven hours, maybe eight hours to get there. And, uh, you know, if you're really trying to min-max, this is probably the biggest boost to damage you can have right now, you know, that you might not have known about. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.